Good morning, staff and students. This is Mr. Lon. Welcome to this Wednesday C Day. All right, nice to be at Wednesday already. Upcoming events, students, you know we have a number. Okay, I want to highlight as I've been highlighting our back to school night, which is Thursday, September the 22nd from 5 to 7 p.m. Okay, more information going to be on Instagram pretty soon. There's going to be prizes, there's going to be a partners fair. There's going to be a meeting for parents. There's going to be access to all of your classrooms. Students, mark your calendars, and we're going to be letting your families know, all right, that back to school night is Thursday, the 22nd. Also, I think maybe we'll sprinkle in some extra credit if your families come. I think that might be a good idea. Um, and students, please know always, 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 always that our number one priority as educators at Mass Bomb you know, more so than having a great instructional program, which we believe in, students. We believe in that quite a bit. It's one of our fundamental pillars, but we need to have safety at all times. So students, if there's anything that we can ever do to support you in feeling safe, whether it is at school, whether it is out in the community, uh, safety in any manner, please reach out to a staff member that you trust students because we are most certainly here to support you. All right, a reminder about the ninth grade attendance trip. This is going to be, it is a high bar, students, a high bar because you're going to need perfect attendance. And I'm talking about every class on time for an entire month to receive the permission slip. It's for ninth grade students only, okay? It is a special dealio that we have for the ninth grade to the Philadelphia Zoo, and it is on October the 19th, 2022. The fall weather should be lovely. The pumpkin spice lattes should be flowing, scarves out. Uh, you're going to the zoo, not Linville at Orchards. The zoo. I just want to clarify the zoo. This is from Mr. Thomas. Mr. Thomas has been promising a Connect Four tournament for this year. All right. I bet Mr. Thomas is pretty good in Connect Four. I just have I have a feeling. All right. So games played during advisory. Forfeit of schedule for a game and late to school. Only two champions allowed into the tournament from each advisory. Sign up with your advisor. They will send the player name or names to Mr. Thomas. Names must be received on or before Friday, September the 16th. Schedule of games will get posted the following week. Keep on your radar after the Connect Four tournament is over. The next one up will be Speed. It's a card game if you want to brush up on your skills. Mr. Thomas shares here. Uh, he's already got plenty of ideas, but listen, let Mr. Thomas know if there's a game you really want to show off skills within an advisory tournament before the end of this year. You know, Mr. Thomas... I talked a lot of trash the past couple of years about Tetris, and we never actually did a Tetris tournament. Can you get a Tetris tournament? Preferably the Nintendo variant. Preferably, preferably the Nintendo Game Boy variant, but that's a lot to ask. I'll take just regular Nintendo. Mr. Thomas, can you make it happen? If you do, we'll have to invite Simir Weaver back. He's graduated. Yonder is here. Hey, we, you know what? We uh, relapsed a little bit, students. A number of students came in yesterday and they forgot their pouches. They weren't damaged. They just forgot them. Okay. So uh, I guess it was a long weekend, Labor Day weekend. So students, remember those pouches. Social media, we are almost at 1,100 followers. Mr. Thomas Bars. All right. Wednesday, last uh, game of the day. The score was something like 17 to 24 game point in a volleyball scrimmage. Mr. Thomas decided he'd finish the game with a tornado jump serve. All right, Mr. Thomas, guess what? 18 to 24. Mallory Johnson fearlessly fielded the ball, returned to center, and kept her team alive. Now, we still won in the end, of course, but I was so impressed. I gave Mallory her first nine PBIS points of the year. Wait, what? Her first nine points of the year at Mallory Johnson's teachers. She's such a great, respectful, responsible, safe. That one might be questionable. Mr. Thomas, just kidding, Mallory. Kid, where are all her points? All right. 
Let's make those PBIS points happen. Staff and student shout-outs from Dr. Riley. Shout-out to student Kareem Russell for displaying integrity, which is doing what is right when no one is looking. Kareem found headphones and could have kept them. Instead, Kareem returned them to the main office. That is showing respect and responsibility to others. Hey, Kareem, great job showing integrity. And Dr. Riley, I'm sure Kareem really appreciates starting his day out with that shout out. The national days today is national neither snow nor rain day. I didn't look up what that actually means, but I think that's probably just like nothing is going to prevent me from achieving my objectives today. Also, it is national Grandma Moses Day. Do you know who Grandma Moses is? I didn't really, uh, not a first anyway. Uh, I, I do know uh, who Grandma Moses is. Anyway, she is an American folk artist. And I remember when I was an English teacher and I would have to teach students keystone prep, okay, which still gets taught today because we still have the keystone test for the rest of our lives. I would, there would be um, an, a reading excerpt and I would often find the reading excerpts pretty boring. But there was one on Grandma Moses that I actually really always enjoyed teaching to my students because I never really knew much about Grandma Moses. I had heard her name, but then it got into her life, which was quite interesting and quite prolific and quite unexpected in terms of her artistic talents. Um, it was a, you know, I really appreciated learning about Grandma Moses. So everybody, happy Grandma Moses Day. All right, staff and students. You know who we are. You know what our school vision is. It's right here. We're mass bomb. Build the future. You're right, we do.